Okay, hi, I am posting my accountability for today. I did my cardio. Um, I did it quite early. It's still fairly cool. I can start to feel a little bit of heat now, but I'm glad that I did it early. I can. I was going to wait this after, till this afternoon because I work tonight and I thought, oh, maybe I should do it closer to, you know, and kind of, you know, wake myself up. But I decided I'd do it early. It's much cooler now. There's a nice breeze right now, but it's not going to last very long. I know that much. We're expecting 40 degrees today. Anyway, Let's get on with the day. Okay, well, I'm about to um, I'm about to cut this zucchini. It's a it's a bit it's not as it's not as um, soft. It's a, it's not actually a zucchini. It's it's an Italian squash, and I'm just gonna put the TV down. Anyway, as I was saying, this is an Italian squash, and this outer skin is actually quite uh, quite hard. It's not like it's not as as you know as thin as a normal um, zucchini, you know, because it's more like, kind of like a pumpkin skin a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to cut it into three because, because as you can see, it's extremely long. It's a very long, um, you know, squash. So I'll show you what the inside looks like, and uh, when I cut it, which I'm going to cut it with this big knife Hi. anyway um, and I'll show you there, there are seeds inside as well that which you need to remove okay so as you can see there are seeds inside like uh, sorry that's not the one there are seeds inside like that in the middle there's quite a number of seeds now what my auntie has said is to make sure that you remove the seeds otherwise there's far too many and I'm gonna just cut them up I mean you're gonna peel it obviously cut it up and um, and put it in a pot with not that much water because obviously there's a, a lot of water in this already and um, and maybe with some tomato and onions just kind of make a stew of it she's also said you could add some like ham uh, you know like a prosciutto or some kind of uh, cured ham to kind of just give it a bit more of a taste when you're cooking it but um, yeah so we'll see how we go Okay, I wanted to explain how you can take the seeds out. Now, the best way to take the seeds out of this um, is to cut it in half. Like, obviously, I have I've peeled it and I've cut it in half. And now I'm just going to scoop this out. Um, I'm just going to use a knife, actually, just to kind of scoop it out like that and get as many as the seeds that you can out. Uh, otherwise, it's, you know, you know how it is. You don't want to be spitting seeds out when you're eating. Um, and then I'm just going to slice it up like that and um, you know get it ready put it in the pot all right so that, that's what I've just used the knife to basically make the incisions like that and it comes out like this okay so it's it's kind of like that and this just this is like a soft matter pretty much that you can just you know kind of like a pumpkin you would just take out the middle part so I'd, I'm just chucking that out and uh, just getting as rid, as rid of the as many of the seeds as I can and I'm just going to do the same thing with these and uh, the rest of this stuff because I'm going to cook it all. All right, well, I've, I've pretty much cut um, this stuff. So as you can see, I've just kind of sliced it up and uh, just uh, put it in the pot ready. And I'm going to make the sauce uh, first and then I'm going to put it in here to cook with this. Um, so I'm going to cook it and I'm just going to put a little bit of water in there and let it cook a little bit. And I'm going to get the tomato and onion ready to put in there. Okay, well, I've, I've got my uh, kukutsu, you know, kind of cooking in there, but I, I've pretty much uh, cut some onions up and I'm just preparing the sauce that I'm going to put in there. Uh, but what I decided to do um, is that I would get my tomato. I've got some, I had some peeled tomatoes and I put it in the processor and kind of just chopped it all up. I did put a bit of an onion in there, a little one with some herbs and stuff, and I just kind of mixed it all up so it's all ready to go uh, with everything. And I'm just going to dump it in here once these onions are browned a little bit. And then I'm going to put it in there to cook up with my gluze. And so hopefully I'll be able to show you the finished product when it's done. And hopefully it'll taste good. All right, so when they're ready, you'll find that they become a little bit translucent and uh, that's how you know they're, they're pretty much ready and if you stick a fork in I mean you don't want them they can get really sloshy you don't want them too sloshy it, I mean unless you really like them that way but it's good to have them where they are just got a little bit of bite and uh, it's pretty much ready to go I put some salt and pepper and all of that stuff and uh, we're ready she's hot and it was hot today. It wasn't as hot as what I had expected it to be, but it was still hot. It was in the mid-30s today, so um, 
still a hot day tomorrow another hot day and um, nothing else to tell you except that um, I'm gonna sign out I'm gonna go to work tonight um, I did notice that I was, I was watching TV and they've got this NITV I think it's uh, National Indigenous TV, which is got um, you know Aboriginal stuff on there. You know people the the people that are uh, indig Indigenous to our country, the Aboriginals, and it's just a, a whole channel just dedicated to um, you know their stuff. And I, I thought it was so interesting. I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. Fantastic. I thought it was so interesting that they've even got children's programs to teach the kids how to speak. Um, you know, in, in their native language, which is so fantastic. I just thought, oh, this is so cool. Why didn't we do this before? What's wrong with our country? Anyway, <laughs> so I just thought, that's just a phenomenal thing. I just, I love it, because it's just been released again. It was, we had it a, a while back, and they took it off. I don't know why. I think it might have been due to funding or something or other. But it's back on, and so I just, I love watching it. I, I think I watched... I watched that for about two or three hours this afternoon. I thought it was phenomenal. I love it. Anyway, that's enough of my waffling. Have a good day. I'll see you again tomorrow, okay? Bye.